Hey everybody, uh, what's up? Yeah, you can see I'm inside my, my truck, right? This is my brother-in-law's truck. I'm out working with him. Right now we're in Pittsburgh, California, taking a little bit of a break. Uh, we've just done uh, Dublin, Walnut Creek, and now we just did Pittsburgh. And we're on our way to Concord to finish up, I guess it's the bigger version of all three of these, basically a little bit bigger. Maybe the hundreds worth, I'm not sure. But, anyway. Um, anyway. You know. I can. I wanted to get this off my chest. I, I, I can understand how some fans have felt about what's going on. And like I said in my review of the first three. Uh, acts of World Collide. I thought it was pretty decent. But, again, you know, I can understand how fans feel about what's going on, how they feel about both Ken and Ian, and, you know, what they've done with the comic in the past 20 years. And the thing is, the comic's gone through a lot of changes. I mean, when it first started out, let's not, let's not kid ourselves. The comic was actually more of a blend of Sat AM. Basically it was main, mainly it was a bl blend of adventure, mostly adventures of Sonic with the Sat AM characters and the Sat AM Robotnik added in. That's basically what it was. And then it evolved. And it became more like what you saw on Saturday mornings and less of what was adventure. You know, it still had its comedy and its humor, but as soon as we started getting into the late teen issues and the 20th issues, and most importantly, things like issue 29 and th into the 30th issues and so on, we started really getting more like Sat AM. We started to get more dramatic, more darker. And that just continued on. The momentum just continued on. And, um,. You know, we got some good stories, we got some bad stories. Uh, we got Endgame, which is considered one of the best stories ever written, even though some don't think so. Uh, we've had things like Darkest Storm written. We've had uh, the First World Tour written. You know, we've had the Sally miniseries written. You know, you name it, we've had it. And, you know, again, in 20 years, the comics gone through a lot. And not once has it ever faced a situation to where fans believe that the comic's going to be drawn to a close soon. Some fans believe that the comic may be, that Sega's going to pull the license on the comic. Some fans believe that they won't. You know, some fans believe that, you know, the comic, if it does get pulled, if Sega does pull the license, will at least last to about 300, maybe 275 at the most. So, to me, I don't. I think I gotta agree with a lot of people. We shouldn't worry just yet. I mean, yes, the court situation between Penders and Archer Comic is done. The settlement has been made. We just don't know all the details yet. But in the 20 years that this comic's been around, in all the stories, good and bad, that have been written by Ian Flynn, Ken Penders, Mike Gallagher, Scott Shaw, you name it. You know, despite all that, and despite any other legal battles that may have taken place in, behind the scenes and not, I mean... Some people physically thought, I mean, some people actually thought Endgame was going to be the end, but it wasn't. True, we've had some piss poor milestones here and there, like 150, which was mainly just a two part arc to rebrand Evil Sonic as Scourge, but that's about it. So I don't think we should worry too much about what's going on or what's happening. All I could say is we just gotta hold on for the ride, as the old saying does. Hang on for the ride of your life, if you're a fan of the comic. Because one, it's not going anywhere, and as Ian Flynn put it, whether you like these characters or not, 
Sally, Bunny, Antoine, Roder, you know, Nicole, the all remaining. And they all basically sounds like gonna be the folk gonna be back at being the heart of the book again. Basically the main one of the main focuses of the of the book again. So I wouldn't you know count on them ever probably leaving because I think right now with the situations going on behind the scenes and whatever the settlement agreement is the freedom fighters are the best option we have going right now so because you know unlike characters like Amy Rose like Rouge and and Silver and Blaze and Tails and all that you can't really do much with them including even Sonic can't really do much with them but you can do a lot with the Sadie M characters and that's why they're going to be basically brought back into the book sounds like in a very big way I mean that's why I consider and I said it in my video while I talked about it that's why I consider Countdown to Chaos not to be a reboot but to be a rebirth story so that's all I'm going to say on it and you want any comments video response down below and that's all I'm going to say hey in this video that I'm doing um, from Pittsburgh and that's it. Good night. And talk to you soon.